Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning, didn't know I missed this. Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim, and in today's video, we're doing a quick cleanup of our backyard. And I say we're because I got Mia to help me, I got Nick to help me, so we're gonna kind of divide and conquers at some points of this video, but we're gonna start here in a flower bed that needs so much attention. I see this right from the back door every day. So when I'm doing laundry, doing dishes, if my door's open, I kind of get to look out at this and it really needs some help. So today we're gonna start here and I'll take you along for what we got done today. This is still gonna be a work in progress. Um, we worked, I think, about two to two and a half hours on this. And by the time we were done, yeah, we were all pretty tired. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. I'm a butterfly who has only begun Taking me a while to get it Had to live and cry to appreciate life And what you give is worth it When you're holding me and when you hold me so close I want further in under your skin Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough Don't make me feel good <laughs> Of course we try and pick one of the windiest days to put this stuff down But trust me, at this point, this wind and breeze was feeling really good So at this point we decided to kind of divide and conquer. Mia's still mulching, which I have a picture in picture here of her still mulching. Nick's cleaning up after us and I'm moving on to the flower pots here. And an interesting thing with these flower pots, these are actually my tiki's as well. So if you stay tuned for a little bit more of the video, I'm going to explain how I did this. I did this a few years ago, so I don't really have footage of when I did this, but basically what you need is a tiki torch, a square tiki stand, and a square flower pot, and then some uh, rocks, or I used bricks, because that's what I just had laying around. So as I'm wrestling with flowers, I have another picture in picture of Mia pulling weeds from the other flower bed. Baby, going down, 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 down. 
So at this point, we're still doing a divide and conquer. Mia is pulling some more weeds and I'm putting the flowers into the other flower pots that I had. I had two more flower pots that I needed to get all the flowers in and Nick is trying to keep up with getting everything in the trash and swept up and hosed down. Poor kid, we had this kid run and we're like, Nick, grab the trash bag. Wait, we need the shovel. Oh, can you grab this? And he's just like running back and forth. And I gotta tell you, like I gotta brag on these kids a little bit. These guys were awesome. Um, when you at when I ask them to come out and do something like this and I know like this is you know this is backbreaking work this is not fun work but they'll come out and no arguing they're out there and they're doing it and they're getting the job done and these two they are just so awesome oh squish squish but yeah so everybody had a part in getting this done and I think it turned out pretty nice. Of course, there's always more work to do, but it turned out really nice. And this was right before the holiday when we had family coming over. And I said before, like, there is no motivation to get stuff done as quickly as you can than people coming to your house. All right guys, so just a quick note of what I did here. This is a regular tiki with a stand. However, what I did was I had these square pots that I just put some rocks or you can do bricks even in the bottom. I put the tiki stand with the tiki in it into the bottom of this and then I just covered it with um, that protect like that weed stuff and then put dirt in it and did my flower pots like that because I just had too much stuff between the flower pots and the tiki's next to it it was just too much going on I was afraid of stuff getting knocked over so a neat little trick if you wanted to do something a little different so that way you just have the tiki's coming right out of your flower pot there I did this I think like two years ago so I didn't record it at that time but it is really easy just like I said you need the square the square stand for it or I guess you could do something even where you would put a concrete or something in it I think that might be a little bit hard to move like these are easy for me to move around if I need to to sweep up and clean around but I do like the way that it turned out a lot and then you just refill the top here with the tiki juice so that's kind of cool I do like that a lot all right guys so there you have it that was the quick cleanup it's actually the next day we did that the night before but this is what this is my little flower bed here I usually just do greens here this will bloom tiger lilies they've all they've all kind of had their time though I still have some more mulch because we are going to mulch in the very back here we're still working on that kind of time got away from us and honestly we just got tired <laughs> really tired here's our little bulldog statue we got that after our first bulldog passed bogey and now it kind of represents bogey and coco um little hostess i love hostess because you do get like a little purple flower in the summertime but they will come up year after year they do get really large though I have ones out front that get really large we put some lavender in here just because it smells really good and my kids were finding rocks at some point but the mulch we're getting a new door the mulch is going to go back here we still have to weed this out this is pretty much a mess but that's going to be the next project getting this all mulched and cleaned out give you a quick glimpse of my daughter's vegetable garden here 
That's doing well. She did all kinds of lettuce here. She's got a bunch of tomatoes here, a little tiki. Some tomatoes back there. It's busy down this, towards this. We have a busy street over here. We do have a cucumber in here. I think it's somewhere underneath here. But we do have a cucumber. We have some kale. A couple things of lettuce got mixed in with the kale. But that's been pretty cool so far. All right. Here we are at the patio area. We still have to work on the patio, kind of like what we did out front. Don't mind the cords. These are just cords from plugging in the pool pump. But we do need some firewood from when we had trees cut down. I do need to work on this patio. It was this like grayish, bluish color, and then we painted this tan, which I really like. It's like a deck and patio paint. So it's kind of like coarse. So I was afraid of people slipping when they would come out of the pool. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because there will be a part two to this. This is just the beginning. Honestly, it's too dang hot to, to be doing anything here right now. It's going to be 95 with a heat index of 101 to 105 today. So I don't think it would be safe to be out here doing yard work. But there's a quick glimpse. And you know what? I'll try and get a picture at night to show you that too. Because it does look pretty at night. We light up some lights. The tiki's go in the fire pit. It's just a nice relaxing area to be in. But there you go. Quick overview.